Hello everyone, my name is Swan Hui. I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist from SGH. Many men with prostate diseases have an issue with urinary control. In this video, I'll be talking about how to do your pelvic floor muscle exercises correctly to help to control urinary leakage. Let's take a look at where the pelvic floor muscles are and how to move them with this animation created by the Continents Foundation of Australia. The pelvic floor is the base of the group of muscles referred to as your core. These muscles are located in your pelvis and stretch like a hammock from the pubic bone at the front to the tailbone at the back and from side to side. They support the bladder and bowel and play an important role in bladder and bowel control and sexual function. If your pelvic floor muscles don't work well, you may leak when you do things like coughing, sneezing, lifting, laughing or exercising. To stop this from happening, you need to switch on your pelvic floor muscles. To switch on the pelvic floor muscles, you need to squeeze and draw in the muscles around the base of the penis as if you are trying to stop the flow of urine. You should see your penis draw in and your scrotum lift up. Breathe normally. Don't hold your breath or tighten your buttocks. Then let go and relax the pelvic floor muscles completely. Notice as the pelvic floor muscle tightens, the anal passage closes. The same action happens to the urethra. By exercising the pelvic floor regularly, you will train your muscles to work automatically when they are needed. Let's try moving the pelvic floor together. Choose a position where you can feel the movement the best. That could be lying on your side, sitting or standing. Take this opportunity to get into the position of your choice. There are two main components to the male pelvic floor, the front and the back. We'll start with the front. To contract the pelvic floor muscles, pull the penis back into the body and then relax completely. What you should feel is as you contract the pelvic floor, the penis lifts slightly, and when you relax, it returns back to the original position. Take this opportunity to perform that a few times. Can you feel it? It's a small lift of the penis and the scrotum. The tummy muscles should stay relaxed, and you should be able to continue speaking if you need to. Now, let's include the rear part of the pelvic floor into the exercise, by tightening around your anus like you're trying not to pass wind. Can you feel the movement well? Your buttocks should remain relaxed. So, if you're seated, you shouldn't be moving up and down in your seat. If you can't feel the movement well as you are trying, try another position. Lying down on your side might be the easiest one. Getting the right technique can take up to two weeks, so please be patient when you're trying. If you're using the wrong technique, then the exercise will not result in any improvement. In fact, using wrong technique can result in worsening of the leakage. So it's important that you check that you are doing the pelvic floor muscle exercises correctly. You can check by performing the exercises in front of a mirror. You should see that the penis and scrotum lift as you contract the pelvic floor and descend as you relax completely. Once you get the right technique, Try contracting your pelvic floor several times throughout the day. For example, when you're waiting for the lift, when you're waiting for transport, or when you're queuing up for something. Start with a number of contractions that you can do with good technique for better results. Once you are able to do 10 pelvic floor muscle contractions comfortably with good technique, you can progress to a slightly more difficult exercise where you hold the pelvic floor muscle contraction. For example, if you're able to hold the pelvic floor muscle contraction for 3 seconds and repeat that for 5 times with good technique, 
you will practice that frequently throughout the day. Gradually increase the holding time to 10 seconds and increase the number of repetitions per set to 10. It might take you three months or more to get there. Take your time to increase the difficulty of the exercise um, with good technique. Remember to tighten your pelvic floor before you engage in activities that can cause leaks, such as before you get up into standing from a seated position and before you cough and sneeze. Typically, with two weeks of consistent exercise, you should start to feel some improvement with the urine leakage. It can take three to six months for the muscles to fully strengthen, so being consistent with the exercises is important. If you're experiencing difficulty controlling urine, ask your doctor for a referral to see a pelvic health physiotherapist. We can assess to see if you are performing the exercise with the right technique, and design an exercise plan specifically for you for best results. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you found the information helpful.